Hello, hello guys, Mr. ATC again for another idea of housing. And today I'm going to show you how to create some dollies so you can have your plants moving all around in your house. I think this is the easiest thing to find in the street nowadays. And as we all know, pallet wood are being thrown away everywhere. So as usual, you know me here, eh? instead of leaving them out in the street, I took them in order to show you what we can create at home. So as you can see me doing it here, and in order to make life easier for yourself, I will advise you to use your jigsaw and just cut the piece of wood that you need. And as you can see here, we have plenty. And in order to clean them up, if you have a wood planner available, feel free to use it. For this project, we won't really need to reduce the thickness too much. So I will advise you to remove just one millimeter on each side. Et voilà, all clean, in order to start create something cool. And here, I didn't want to use the same design that we used to see all the time in the shop. So I've decided to change a little bit and create different patterns. The first thing I will be tracing here are the parts for the bottom side. To then move to the different forms for the top side. Haha! <laughs> As I told you last week, we're going to be using this band saw quite a lot. And at the same time, you will be able to see if it's a good investment or not. So now that we are done with the cutting, Time to look how I'm gonna assemble everything. Okay, so now that I have an idea about it, I know that according to the amount of wood I have available, I will be able to create only two dollies. Which is actually perfect. But, unfortunately, I do have to cut some more. So let's do it. Then in order to round up a little bit the edges on each bottom side, I will be then using my router. And also on some of the top side. Et voilà! Here we are. Ready to prepare for some painting. But as usual, before painting each of them, we're gonna remove a little bit the excess by using some sandpaper. And after that, for each bottom side, I've decided to use my favorite wood burning technique, the sushugi ban. Note that this technique is very easy to create. You just need a blowtorch and that will be it to help you to create a very nice rustic effect. Then, in order to highlight the effect, we will just need to use here some wood lacquer. And here, I've decided to paint the top side in white, so it will be matching perfectly with the color of the wall in his house. If you decide to make it for yourself, please note that the drying process is taking up to 1 or 3 hours, so just be patient there. Alright, so now they are all ready to be assembled. I will just verify if we have everything and we can go for it. As we're gonna assemble from top to bottom, I will first advise you to lay down the top side, then put on top the bottom side. And in order to attach, we're gonna here use the nail gun. Okay. 
Alright, the first one is ready. Let's move to the second one. Alright, so the second one is ready, so let's move on and fix the wheels. Note that for this type of design, the best way to assemble the wheels is to put them at the extremity of each part. And as you know, pallet wood are not always very solid. So here I'm going to take some mark in order to pre-drill before inserting the screws. I have to be honest with you, this one is my favorite dolly. I like the design, I like the way it moves, everything about it. And to finish, I'm just gonna use some transparent spray lacquer, which will help us to protect it as much as possible from the water. And now, I'm just repeating the same process for the second one. And finally, here we are. And by making those, you won't be able to say that this is the type of design you are seeing in the shop everywhere. And as usual, stay posted. I will be able to provide pretty soon a free plan for you in order to make it yourself. And as usual, it's always a pleasure for me to share those ideas with you. As I'm saying all the time, you know, the goal is to bring back sustainability in our life, to share with you things that everyone is doing. You just have to go to the ATC app and take a look at everything. Things that are being done in the US, in Africa, in America, everywhere in the world, and everything in the platform just for you. So feel free to take a look and don't forget to download our mobile app in order to get us on the go. For example, you can see here, Lou sharing with us a very nice project Another one, I would say, because he's always sharing with us. And this is what I will recommend everyone to do, because this is exactly what the platform is about. If you would like to support us, feel free to take part of the One Reservation, One Trip Principle program. This program is helping us to create more awareness about simple things that can be made in order to support our environment. Also helping us to plant trees with our partners, Trees for the Future. And if you would like to have more information about it, here you are. The One Reservation Equals One Tree Planted program. With it, you can find hotels all around the world. Also, flights booking to move like a bird. And car rentals to go faster wherever you want. Or even holiday homes to relax in nature. And much, much more to come with no extra cost. Guess what? I'm already booked with the One Reservation Equals One Tree Planet program. What about you? Join us at www.atc-c.com for the One Reservation Equals One Tree Planet program with ATC so that together we can make a difference for the environment. Alright, as usual, Mr. ATC, for no idea of our thing. Next week, I will be sharing with you a very nice pilot project. Don't miss out on this one because, believe me, it's going to be very nice. A lot of you are going to like it. I can assure you. See you next week.